Good morning, y'all, and it's Tuesday, and I promised y'all an apron fabric video to come out today. So, I've already taken uh, pictures of all the fabric, and y'all will see it after I get through talking, and I'm going to have each one numbered, 1A, 2A. That's so that if somebody watches an older video, uh, I'll know exactly which fabric that you're wanting, because each one of them has their own numbers on it. There's two different styles of apron. This is the one that is just your regular apron. It just uh, slips over the head and ties, and I just call this just the regular apron. And it is reversible. I always use a solid on the back side. It's top stitched around the edges. It's cotton fabric that's pre-washed and dried, and it lasts a long time. That's the regular apron. And I know this is a Christmas apron, but I wanted to show y'all. This is the adjustable apron, and the strap goes through some channels here on, this, on the side. And when you put it on, you pull the straps up, this, the ties, till you get it right for you, and then you tie it on. So a shorter person, a taller person, if you wanted it to come clean up under your chin, you just pull it on up there and tighten it. And um, it's not made really to be reversible. It's fully lined, top stitched, just like everything else. You can reverse it, but see where you turn it back to make the channels is going to show on the reverse side. But it's all finished and neat. So if you wanted to reverse it, you absolutely could. So that's the only two aprons that I make the reversible, I mean, the adjustable chef's apron and the one that I'm just calling the regular apron that slips over your head and ties. So I've got 20 something fabrics for you to choose from. The aprons are $55 each including the shipping and I take uh, PayPal. You can mail me a check or money order and my address will be down below and I signed up for is it Zelle? Z-E-L-L-E -L -L -E? And uh, to use that to pay me, you use my email address. So I've never, I haven't used it, haven't gotten any money through it yet, but I did sign up for that. Um, my PayPal is my email address. So either way, and if you pay on PayPal and you know how to do it, please pay uh, under friends and family. And that way I don't have to pay a fee. That would help me a bunch because they charge me a fee out of every apron. So out of what I charge you, I pay a PayPal fee plus I pay for shipping. So, and my fabric's gone up. So anyway, um, I hope y'all will find something that you like and get your orders in. I try to make them and mail them in the order that I receive them. So um, those of you that have been waiting, here's what I've got right now. And if you've seen fabrics in some of the older videos, if you can snapshot it, send it to me and ask me if I still have it. I, I do still have other fabrics, but I was just showcasing these this time. So if there's something you've seen before, just check with me. I may still have it. But I hope you look at all of these that's going to be coming in. Uh, pick you an apron and you need to email me and in the subject line put apron and then tell me which fabric you wanted, which style of apron you want, regular or adjustable. You need to tell me how you're going to pay. If it's going to be on PayPal, check money order or Zella or Zill or however you say that. Uh, like I said, I haven't used that. I hope it works. But anyway, um, one of those. And your mailing address. And that way, once the apron's made, the payment's made, it'll get put in the mail to you, and you'll get it in usually three to five days. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. I'm ready to be busy. Now, this is Tuesday, and I'm going back up to College Station tomorrow with Lauren. Well, April is, April is there now, and I'll be there by dark tomorrow night, and then I'll be back home Friday morning, and I'll get started cutting and sewing. So... Y'all have got a day or two to look and decide, and then I'll be back home and ready to rock and roll. My garden is not planted yet. It was 55 degrees here this morning. I did plant some cucumbers and two kinds of squash and some herbs out here, but I'll be taking y'all out for a garden tour. I love the way my raised beds have turned out. 
Troy got me a load of pea gravel for my birthday to put in between them so it'll look pretty. So y'all will be seeing all of that in a video real soon. But right now, I got aprons on my mind and lots of work to do. So get me some orders in here and I'll make y'all some aprons and I'll make me some money. I'll see y'all in a day or two. Come on. Hey, get back up here. <laughs> He's so cute. He's growing.
these some more hops. 